Hold up, did you just watch an ad before this video? Oh, you're on iOS and all the ad blocks available suck major d Yeah, I know. I spent hours researching, downloading, paying, entering all kinds of cheat codes to find ways to game the system, and none of them fucking work. Well, kind of, but who the f uses Safari to browse YouTube and game? I mean, you could download Brave or another browser, but eh. We want to play games and we don't want to spend an hour of our life looking for that tiny ass X or to have to watch 30 seconds of some really questionable shit. So today I bring answers. This will be the last time you have to watch a YouTube ad for one of my videos. But seriously, you have my blessing to turn on uBlock Origin for all my videos. I sure as hell ain't getting paid for this and I'd rather you just have a good experience with my videos. Cause fuck them, that's why. <laughs> Anyway, what is this magical solution you speak of? No clickbait, it legitimately works with games, YouTube, and basically every other app. Today we'll be using Luna Adblock, which is completely free, stupid easy to install, and works across almost everything that I've tried. These are the same developers as the app that was out a couple years ago before it was removed from the App Store, but there is one catch. There's a famous quote stating, If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Lots of people seem to have an issue with the predecessor, but this is true. It's not necessarily a bad thing. They're pretty open that they collect data and well, that's kind of how they make their money. But from what I've been reading, the data isn't really anything that could identify you. It's pretty generic stuff that's used for ads and marketing. And if you're curious about what data they actually collect, I highly recommend reading the privacy policy as it goes into detail on what they get from you and how they use it and so forth. Personally, I don't care too much for it. I think what Apple did is great with the recent app tracking limitations, but I don't want to stir anything or go all tinfoil hat on you. I hope you know that it's really just a suggestion by Apple. It's not necessarily enforced. So most apps really just take it as a suggestion to not track you, but in reality they can do as they please. I recommend looking into it. I guarantee that unless you go back to using a Nokia 3310 or a flip phone, you're not as intrackable as you think. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up. I personally don't care for it. You're tracked to a much larger extent and even more data is collected when you're signed into Google and all these other apps. So this compared to those is Basically, yeah. All right, so it's time for the secret sauce you've been waiting for. Our link is in the description and feel free to follow along. To head over to the Adblock website and press the install for iOS. And then after that, they require that you enter a birth year that's 18 or older to download the VPN profile. Once you have that downloaded, press allow and then let's head over to the settings. We're gonna have to toggle or install two things. The first one, just head over to settings and then general and then scroll down all the way to VPN and device management. In here, you'll see under downloaded profile, adblock Luna VPN, press that and then install and you'll be prompted to put in your passcode. After that's installed and you see the verified check mark, press done and then go back and we're gonna go into the about section. Scroll all the way to the bottom and go into certificate trust settings and then in here, we'll see the adblock extension root certificate, toggle that on and then press continue. And that's basically it. Now, if we go back to the Adblock Luna website and you let it refresh, if you see this screen, it means you're good to go. Now, if you're having issues with it, limiting access to certain apps or websites, you can always remove it. It's really easy. Just go to general and under VPN, press on it, and you'll be prompted with a button to remove it. Now, what better way to test if this adblock works than on the YouTube app? And if you could do me a favor and head over to this guy's channel and press subscribe, I know he'll greatly appreciate it. In case you didn't know, that's me. Thanks. Mwah. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I helped you and overall made your experience with your device better. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.